Question 9. Here are the marks that James scored in 11 maths tests. 11 maths tests. Wow. Uh, find the interquartile range of these marks. Well, firstly, we need them in order. So let's go for 11. Uh, next one's 12. We've got two 13s. Then we have a 16. 17 and another 17. So basically we're just putting them in order. Fairly straightforward at the moment. And I'll tick them off so I don't miss any. And 19, 19 and a 20. So we've got them all there. We've got... That should be 11, not 1. Right, so how many numbers have we got? 11. So the interquartile range would be, if we look at a quarter, that's your lower quartile. That's your upper quartile. And then that would be your median. Not that we need to find the median, because that's the middle number. And I've basically got middle number and then the middle of the lower and upper quartiles. Uh, then interquartile range, sorry, is 9 minus 13. Largest, take away the smallest. So we've got interquartile range of 6. Right, next question. We've got uh, median mark of 17, interquartile range of Eight. So his interquartile range is bigger. Um, median is actually the same. Which one has the more consistent marks? Well, you want a lower interquartile range. So actually, James has a more consistent mark. So they're closer together. Now, uh, his scores in these four tests were 16, 20, 18, and 10. Right, he's done four more. But he's got... How does the new median mark for the 15 test compare with the median mark of 17 for the 11 test? Well, because he's got two below 17 and two above 17, it doesn't actually change it. So the new median is still 17. And that's because uh, we've got two lower values and two higher. Therefore, 17 is still in the middle. 